Welcome back, y'all, to It Gets Real. I know it's been a minute, man, but your boy is going through it. About a couple months ago, man, I totaled my last truck. First time I ever totaled a truck, period. Any vehicle. So I was out of vehicle for two months. And even throughout that time, I caught COVID again, man. So I'm glad to be back, man. Thank God, thank God I'm still here in one piece and able to still do what I love, man. And that's get out here and get our fish on. So gonna get up in here, see if we can't hook up on something. All right, so we just got word that they planted two days ago. Man, hopefully I can still hook up and everybody ain't came and caught all the fish yet. Dude is glad to be back, man. Sorry, man, it's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you without some content you could check, dude. Yeah, golly, man, it seems like forever since I've been out. Um, I'm just glad, man, I'm glad to be back fishing Tempting to hook up on something, man. You know, fishing is fishing, man. Ain't no guarantees in it, but whew, hopefully we get something. But I wanted to start my trout search here at Shadow Cliffs. Cause as I mentioned, I've been here numerous times, numerous times, and never caught anything here at Shadow Cliffs. But uh, for the past two years, they were closed. This lake, or it actually wasn't closed, but they weren't stocking this lake for about two years because the water levels were so low due to the droughts we had. It's just been shut down. So they're finally stocking it again. It is trout season. You see it, you see it. Man, your boy's trying to hook up on this first trout up out of here at Shadow Cliffs because I've been skunked here time and time and time again. Almost had like the same streak as Corey uh i've skunked there maybe at least like 10 times before i actually caught there at quarry and um i don't know it's probably like seven times here uh this might be like the eighth but you know that's a lot of money man uh it's so eleven dollars parking and for the fishing pass and you do have to pay to get one of these here which is five dollars um but this helps go to them getting the better quality rainbow trout. They get them from, you know, the hatcheries like Mount Lassen and a few other ones that are even out of state. But this $5 fee helps them put quality fish in here. Now our fishing license that we purchase every year, the Department of Fish and Game they stock some of these lakes, but they tend to be the smaller, smaller trout, um, you know, and that's what our funds from buying these fishing license gets us, I guess. Guess they don't feel we deserve the top quality fish, so that's why they charge these, man. But all in all, I'm ready to get out there, man. Um, yeah, got my outcaster spoon, about to be throwing the flossy out there. Got some mini jigs. Might do some bait and wait, but uh, we gonna get active. Got my waders on there, so I am about to get out there a little bit. It is a bit windy, depending on how far I could get out there. We'll see how far this mini jig goes. But got my net right here. We watered up. It's about to get real, baby. Has to be super windy right now. Oh yes, that's money. Yeah, that is a lightning right in front of me. I don't want my jig, man. Oh wow, another lightning. Like right here, I can see the silhouette. Oh, hey, super slam away from it. Wow, this is not even fair, man. This lightning is like right in front of my face. A good size one, too. He is like three feet in front of me. This is insane. It's 
It's actually pretty cool, man. I've never been as close to a lightning like that. That is awesome. He's gonna come right in front of my face again. <laughs> no, oh, he just got off. Oh, no, he's on. He'll do for the first one. <laughs> first fish is shadow. Where are you coming, dude? Nice. First trout of the season, man. Let's get back out here. One down, four to go. How to creep up on the lightnings again. Today's setup is the ray fishing sensation. The five, six. Fine weight, two to four pounds. Roar weight, one thirty second of an ounce to one fourth of an ounce. Paired up with the 1000 Shimano Noski. And we have three pound braid on here. Here. Airtime. He knows he's on. It gets real. He wanted airtime. Get my casino foldable net. Come on, big dog. Little big dog. There we go. Ain't seeing those lightnings, but hey, as long as they keep biting, we good. Two down, three to go. This wind is picking up a little bit. So when I do throw my jig, it's just getting carried. Oh, it's getting hard to cast this now. Cast with the wind now. Could just die down, it would be on. Oh, there that guy goes again. That freaking oh, and another lightning right in front of me. Oh, they're making it tough, yo. There's two of them that are out there. That big one that keeps jumping, and the one that swam right by me. Oh, he toyed with me. I actually thought he was gonna take it this time. Oh. That guy did. Wasn't some lightning. We got him some other trout. Yeah, we. Boom. 
Key of number three, doggy. Bit, I still see some lightnings in the mix, along with another rainbow, it looks like. You know, that, that wind stopped a little bit. Visibility is a lot better. Ain't way out there. I'm gonna try to get him though. Let's get a lightning boy. Ooh, that'll be dope. This is a welcome back. I've been waiting for. First time getting it done is Shadow Cliffs. Feels good. Hey, Tony, Tony, Tony. It feels good. Yeah, yeah. Might not be no lightning, but no. We on now. We on. Fish number four. a little bit oh, and he popped me popped me so the last one popped me off man but they don't know I'm locked and loaded I don't see them lightnings anymore oh lost number four I would have been going for the limit right now that one hurt dog I think that was the lightning but we switching it up A little stronger braid here. Got the Stratic on here. This is the Ray Fishing Gammer XL 7.6 Ultra Light. <laughs> Jumper. Two lightnings, three lightnings, four lightnings. See a gang of lightnings right there. All them lightnings, no strikes. Come on, man. Can I get one? Just one out of them four that was right there. Uh, five o'clock, about an hour before it gets dark. Can we do two in an hour? Swap out to the Alcaster Spoon, Cream Sickle. Let's go. It's the Micro Spoons. Nice. Oh man, everybody, everybody hooking up. Bike time. One on the Alcaster. All right, let's see if we can get fish number five. There we go. I'll cast this phone, baby. Pop it, he pop it. Golly. All right, another micro, the toad. Let's see how this goes. Dang, that last one broke the hook off. for the braid decided to go ahead with my mono 
because I can't lose any more fish. I'm going for my last trout for the limit. And I had it hook up two times. And they broke me off. There we go. <laughs> I thought it was a lightning. We got him on that outcaster. Tarantula. We did it. Oh man. Guess who's back? Back again. Yeah, your boy is back. After eight times at this lake, I finally caught my first trout. And not only that, your boy done got a limit. Man. Rainbow trout season. All off the spoons and jigs. No power bait, no bait and weight today. The boy just got it in. Yeah. So juiced, man. So juiced. Woo. I got five on me. Yeah. Boy, they got that limit, man. These ain't the biggest trout, but you know what? It's been a minute since I caught a limit. <laughs> yeah, man. You see it? Woo. Man, no lightning, but you know, this is this was overall dope. And a uh, quick tip, you know, you gotta learn from your mistakes. Um, it is strongly advised to swap out your braid every season, man. Cause the pole that I was using, the sensation, I maybe had that braid on for about two or three seasons without changing it and it's really weak man no matter how many uh yardage i try to break off before i feel like it's strong it's just snapping just like that man so i've been meaning to replace it but i didn't so that resulted in a lot of lost fish man they kept snapping me off uh I even had one of the hooks on one of them spoons break off on a fish. It didn't seem that big, but who knows? Who knows? All in all, man, I'm happy and I'm thankful. Ever so grateful, man, to still be out here to do what I love and that's get my fish on, you know. Man, it's a love and hate relationship with this time of year too, man, because uh, it's getting dark early, man. It's only like 6.30 right now. When is it going to change this daylight savings thing, man? I heard that they were supposed to do it and it's no longer supposed to be a thing. But when they doing that? I need my sunlight. That's the only down part, man. But the good part is, hey, man, all the local lakes are stocking, you know. And uh, this was the only East Bay Lake that I haven't caught no trout at until today. But Contra Loma... Lafayette, Don Castro, um, what else, what else, what else, what else they got out there, Temescal, uh, man, Quarry Lakes, all the East Bay Parks and Lakes, man, yeah, I didn't caught every single one except for one, man, but today, we made it happen, Captain, not only one, but a limit, dog, a limit, dog, I took them L's, all them eight times I was out here, took them L's and turned it into a W, man. Big win, man. 
but man is glad to be back Woo! it's a rough couple of months but we here man we here it gets real baby like always man to the next time y'all be cool y'all be blessed peace